Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawl Craft One in my old barn door. And I thought I would show y'all um, a quick and easy thing that you can do with your book pages um, and your napkins to use them up and make some pretty embellishments to go in your journals. So basically, um, these are just book pages um, that I have trimmed down. And what I do is I have a book that I glue on. You can see the glue marks there. So once it gets good and nasty, <laughs> well, we'll just go ahead and get started. Let me, um, let me go ahead and put some glue. So once it gets good and nasty, here, I'm going to scoot these over out of the way, but I'll try to leave them in frame where you can see them. Um, so once it gets good and nasty like this, and it's usually all kinds of sticky, then I'll just go ahead and I run my glue. And I usually, to save on glue, um, I usually just run it over the word parts because I'm not going to use the edges. I'm going to trim those off anyway. And then, so I just glue it. And then I'm just going to fold it over. Oops. And try not to tear it. <laughs> and I'm just going to, you know, burnish it down real good so that it's stuck together good. Okay. So then I'm just going to trim around the edges. And hang on, i got to grab my, my scissors. Okay, so I've just got these scissors. Um, I'm not sure. I've had this one for years back when I was doing... Okay, that'll tell you how old these are. Back when I was doing Creative Memories scrapbooking, I bought these scissors. <laughs> so, they're very, very old. Um, but that's what I used. This one, this uh, style here is what I used. Um, you can use these to get like a, a stamp cut or whatever. Um, but then I also have these. These are a little newer. So, I mean, you can just cut them out with whatever... Uh, design you want to cut them out with and so basically what I do now I always have to check this because it's it's usually backwards for me because I'm left-handed so I just cut out around the edges of the words and I think I'm gonna cut on this side because I like the solid words better so we're just gonna trim all the way around And then I'm just going to trim it up the middle so that I can get two out of this. Okay, so now we can get rid of this. And then we have two little pieces, and they don't have to be the perfect size. I am going to trim, though, um, I'm going to trim the top edge just so that it all looks the same as far as the cut of it. So let's trim the top edges. There we go. Okay. So now we have our two little pieces. And these are so easy to do, y'all. Y'all can sit and watch TV and do them or whatever. So now we'll just ink the edges. Now these I did pink edges. Um, but let's just do something different so we can have, you know, a little something different. A little variety. And these are not good and dry yet, so they're a little harder to ink because they're, it makes them a little more flimsy when they've got the wet glue on them. Okay. So let's do one in green. And I think what I want to do is I want to take this dauber and just kind of add a little more green to it. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know if it's showing up real good in the lighting. But it just kind of adds a little bit more color um, to it. And then the next one I want to do in the blue. If I can find my blue ink. Here we go. Oh, this one's called Chipped Sapphire. And the green one is called Bundled Sage. Okay, so let's just ink the edges of this one. Ooh, I like the blue on this. And again, it's a little bit harder to ink it because I've got ink all over my hands. So y'all just have to excuse my messy hands. If 
finally able to get back in my craft frame and I, I'm happy about it. Okay, and then we're just gonna move this over here and just kind of add a little more blue to this just to give it a little more color. And maybe go a little more in the edges. And I like to have the shadows in the corners, so to speak. Kind of like that. Okay. So now that we have that done, we just need to pick either, like, some of these are stickers. Like, this is a sticker. Oops. And this is a sticker. And this is a piece of a napkin. And this is a piece of a napkin. So you can do either or. You can, um, but let's use up some of our napkin pieces, okay? So let's see. I've got this little thing um, that I have napkin pieces in. And I'm trying to find one that's got something smaller on it so that it will be easier. You know, because you want the smaller things to go on your... Okay, let's just do... Well, I thought I had some butterflies in here. I used a, a, a bunch of them. I used a bunch of them up because I was trying to do these projects. No. Okay, let's use this one. Alright, and then maybe some of these. Just make a decision, Diane. <laughs> oh, you know what, though? Okay. So, we just want to have something pretty on here. And so, I like the yellow at the top that says wildflowers are pretty. So, let's just go with that and see where we get with it. We don't have to have it very tall because our piece is not very big. Okay. Let's see. Alright, so we're going to have to, in order to make this fit, we're going to have to tear around our words here. Very carefully. Because if you don't, you'll mess it up. Okay. So let's put our flower on first. And so basically, I'm just going to again take my glue. And I'm just going to glue over the whole thing. And that way I know I've got everything covered. And we're just going to lay our napkin down. And I kind of want it to come this way. Now, you'll definitely want to have your wipe near you. Your baby wipe near you. Because once you do this, your fingers will be sticky. And then, if you try to put another piece of napkin down, then it kind of messes you up. Alright, and then I'm going to... Trim that napkin off. Kind of similar. A little harder when it's wet with glue. But you get the gist of it. Okay. So it's still a little bit wet. And I wanted to put this word on there. But I don't think it's going to. I don't think it's going to fit right on there. So what I'm going to do up here is maybe put. Um. A word of some sort. Let me see what I can find. Okay. Sometimes you can um, find these little, you know, the little strips that are on your paper packs or your pieces of paper that tells you what the name of the pack is. But I think that would be cute on there. Maybe sideways somehow. So I think what I'm going to do is just tear that little truck off because we don't need him. And I might try to tear the edges of this because I would rather it not be squared off. So I'm just going to very carefully tear around this. So 
it's a little easier when you have fingernails even though mine are in, all inked up <laughs> but it does make it a little easier when you have fingernails and I am gonna get a little bit of that letter but that's okay There we go. And then I'm just going to ink him up. Whoops. We don't need the red ink pad. So I'm just going to ink it up with the same green that we inked around the little stamp with. And then probably just going to rub that over that a little too so that it's not so stark white. Okay. And then we can just add him right there with a little glue. Here, let's move it off the book so you can see it better. Sorry. Zoom in a little for you. There we go. And then we'll just add that word there. So there's that one and then we have this one that we need to do we just get rid of this garbage and I think on this one I do want to do a stamp and I'm thinking I want to do this little bumblebee stamp that I have I bought it and I've never got to use it and I just think it's adorable so um, I'm just trying to decide I think I want to use black ink uh, let me grab my black ink one second okay so this is just ranger the archival ink jet black okay so let's just and I want something to stamp him on first because I've never used it so I want to make sure that it's stamping correctly so we'll just do a practice stamp oh how stinking cute is he can y'all see that He's adorable. Okay. All right. So let's just restamp him. And I think we're going to go right in the middle. I'm calling it a he, but it's a little girl. It's got a little flower in its hair. <laughs> so stinking cute. Okay. Let me move some of these napkins and stuff out of the way because... I tend to get too much stuff on my desk and then I have nowhere to work and then I get irritated and walk out. <laughs> do y'all do that? <laughs> okay, got that put up. And now I think what I want to do is color this a little bit. Where are my colored pencils? Hang on. I just want to do colored pencils. I'm not an artist and I don't have all kinds of markers and pens well i do have a boatload of pens but they're just regular normal pens they're not like the artist pens or anything like that but i do have this <laughs> how stupid is that a whole box of my husband brings home 40 pens from his practice and i think that my colored markers are at the bottom down here Okay, sorry y'all. That was driving me crazy. I had to organize it real quick because <laughs> I couldn't get to my colored pencils. Okay, so let's just go here and we'll color the heart. And I just want little bits of color. You know, I don't want them to be real dark. So I'm just going to color him in with the pink. And then I want a deeper yellow if I can find one. Okay, maybe we'll do, I just want to color in his little stripes. Hopefully my head's not in the way. Let me move that hand so you can see a little better. I'll give you a little better light. Okay, so we're just going to add a little color there. And then we're going to add some yellow. And it's just very, very little bitty color. But it's just enough to add some fun to it. And I think, I think I want his 
wings to be yellow. Her wings. It's a her, Diane. Okay, so let's give her some yellow wings. And again, I'm not trying to be perfect because I'm not perfect and I never will be. <laughs> and what do I do with that pink? Let's give it a collar, a pink collar. But these are fun to do just to, um, you know, just to do one while you're sitting watching TV. And then I think I just want to add a little bit of green here to the face just to give it a little bit of definition. There. Okay. So there's the little bumblebee. Okay, and it needs a little something extra because I don't want it to just be stamped um, because it kind of overwhelms it because it's too big. So I've got some washi tape here. So let's add some washi tape around just to add a little something. and then maybe some oh let's do some of the pink stripe at the bottom I got that little washi tape dispenser at um, Walmart it was full it was full of all of these washies so I thought it was super cute and it wasn't expensive so Okay, so we're gonna put that little pink stripe down there. And then I have some thinner washing because I wanna do a little bit of extra something at the top there. I have some solid thin colored washi that I wanna add right there just to kinda lighten that up a little. Okay. And so there you have cute little bumblebee. Okay. So there is our two little, and these are just super cute little pieces that you can use. Use up your book pages, use up your napkins, you know, play with them while you're sitting in front of the TV at nighttime watching your shows or whatever. Um, and then I'll show you what you can do with them. Lots of different things you can do with them. So you can add them on a page. You know, you can put them here. Oh, let me zoom back out, sorry. Hello, I am so sorry about that. I did not mean to shake y'all like that. <laughs> okay, so you can add them to the side of the page and make it like a little tuck so you can tuck a little piece of paper underneath like that. You can make it a little pocket, you can make it um, you know, just a decoration on the page. You can actually, um, for like some of them, like this one, would be cute to fold it in half and make a page tab with it. And then you got the little butterfly wing. You can even do that with the florally ones. So lots of different things that you can do with these, but it's a good thing to do while you're sitting around kind of, you know, not being able to do a whole lot. Like you're not able to be in your craft room. You know, it's, it's a super cute little thing. Um, that you can do to have you some extra little goodies ready for you to play with them and be able to use them in your journals to decorate. You can use them for pockets, tucks, all kinds of things. So that is um, the ones that I told y'all I would show y'all how to do. I think I had said that in the last video. So I told y'all I would show you. So there you have it. Just something simple and easy and pretty. 
you know, to add to your journals and, and have a little embellishment. Or you can tuck these into pockets, you know, and let whoever gets them. You can put, like, lined paper on the back side of it. Um, you know, so you can use it as a little journal card. So, lots of different things you can use them for. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, leave any comments or questions you have in the comment box below. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you will. And thank y'all so much for watching. Hope y'all have a great day. Big hugs.